Hello and welcome to my channel. It's a tailored life. My name is Taylor and today we are getting so much cleaning done. My house was a mess and I'm dealing with some real life everyday messes but I needed to get everything all cleaned up back in order. I also took a trip to Sam's Club and I got a pretty big haul there that I'm going to show you guys before I get everything all restocked and put away. But before I get to putting groceries away, I really needed to get some cleaning done. Things are really busy at my house during this time of year, so the messes are just easily piling up. And I'm trying to keep everything under control. It's every day is a little bit of a struggle. But on this particular day, it actually took me two days to get the house all clean and everything back in order because everything had just gotten so messy and out of order. So first we are starting off in my family room area and my family spends a lot of time here I say this on my channel a lot but we really do like everything from eating dinner movie nights homework just relaxing on the couch this is where we spend a majority of our time now because this is where we spend a majority of our time it's really best for me to clean this area when no one is home so I wanted to clean other areas of the house first but I needed to quickly get this out of the way before my family came back home so I just decided to quickly tackle this area And before we get too far into the video, I'd like to take a quick second just to introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Taylor. I'm a wife and a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys. My older son, Jackson, is seven, and I have a two-year-old named Lincoln. And I love making cleaning motivation videos on my channel. I always have some mess <laughs> going on in my house so there's always some mess that needs to be cleaned and I love like this sense of community here on YouTube and just feeling like I have someone to clean along with me so if you like those type of videos definitely subscribe to my channel I would love to have you also if you are new please say hello in the comments I love chatting and getting to know everyone if you are not new thank you so much for returning i really appreciate it so much and you also say hi in the comments because like i said i love chatting with everyone old new in between and i love hearing about where everyone is from especially the weather i always ask you guys about the weather because i live in south florida and fall here we're just starting to get a little bit of fall here um it's been like we had a low the other day of about 59 degrees and it was only like that for about two or three days. Right now our lows are around like 72 and we're having highs of 81. It feels amazing though because we had a really, really hot summer. So just to have the weather cooling down a little bit is so nice. So like going out in the afternoons around like four or five o'clock, it's really, really nice here right now. And my older son, he's in a lot of um, sports and activities. So we're usually out during that time of day. So it just feels really good outside right now. So let me know where you are from and what the weather is like. I know some of you guys are from like all over the United States and you guys are having like all different types of weather for fall right now. I know some people were telling me that it was kind of rainy and we had that here for a little bit too. But again, in South Florida, a rainy day, it literally is only a few hours. Like if we get, we can get a really bad rainstorm for about two hours and then the sun will come back out. <laughs> so let me know what the weather is like right now where you are.
So I'm all done in the family room area. Everything is all cleaned up in here. <laughs> And it looks so much better than it did when I first started. I love when I clean this area because I know it's going to be a mess again as soon as my family gets home. But it's okay because I just loved how, love how welcoming it looks. Like come sit down and relax. And I did take our throw blankets off the couch and I wanted to put those in the wash. I try to wash our throw blankets on the couch like every other week. Um, we use them a lot. I used to try and wash them every single week, but I felt like I was kind of damaging them because I do wash them in hot water just to get rid of any germs, but I do like to keep them clean. So let me know how often do you guys wash your throw blankets on your couch? My family uses them so much, so I'm always torn between am I washing them too much or not enough? Now normally I would clean our dining room that is connected to the family room after, but like I said, I was trying to get as much done as I could while my family was not home and my boys bathroom was a mess and I knew when they came home they would be back in the bathroom so I wanted to get this area all cleaned up as well and needed a really good like deep cleaning. Now it is my seven year old's responsibility to clean this bathroom and when I say clean I don't mean like use any cleaning products. He doesn't do that but it is his responsibility to pick up any dirty clothes on the floor after he takes a bath, put his toothbrush and toothpaste toothpaste away now lately because we have been so busy he has not been doing his best like keeping up with this area so I have been just chipping in and helping out now I do encourage him to try and do his best to get it clean but like I said he's in a lot of activities right now so he goes from like school doing homework out the door to an activity he comes home he gets to relax for a little bit and then it's like dinner and bedtime so I try not to put too much pressure on him, but I definitely do want to teach him about responsibilities and also just cleaning up after yourself and how important it is to just always make sure that you're cleaning up after yourself. So I'm cleaning my pedicure tub. Now I normally like store this in the bathroom. So I just wanted to include it while I was cleaning the bathroom. Whenever I do a pedicure for my husband or myself, I treat this just like if it were in a business and you went to a nail salon. I try to get it really clean after every use just to make sure there's no like bacteria or anything hanging out in there because I do use it for myself and for my husband. So I always clean it after every use. So while I was cleaning, I noticed that I needed to replace my plug-in and I replaced it with the Laundry Day refill. I love Laundry Day scent from Bath & Body Works. That is my absolute like favorite scent. And I'm the type of person where when I have a scent that I like, I will just buy a whole bunch of that scent. Now during the summer, I do use like a little bit more fruity smelling scents, but Laundry Day is like my year round all time favorite. So I like to use that one a lot. And I know the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works is coming up really soon. So I need you guys to give me some suggestions on like what your favorite like scents are for the home. So I can try something different because <laughs> I keep it the same like all the time, even with the candles. But because sometimes Bath & Body Works does get pretty pricey and like you do have to watch out for sales because I only buy when things are on sale. But Candle Day and like the semi-annual sale are like my favorite times of year to kind of stock up on things there, especially candles. So I usually only buy candles on Candle Day and I'll make sure that I have a coupon to put with the sale price of the candles. So let me know like what scents you guys like the most and like what are your favorite like wallflowers because I don't always like the same scent in a wallflower as I do in a candle. So let me know. 
now i just wanted to say quickly i am using this wall scrubber to scrub the shower walls i don't pull this out often when i am um, cleaning my boys bathtub and that is because they rarely take showers in here they mostly take baths so usually every time you see me clean the bathroom i will clean the bathtub but every once in a while i do like to just go ahead and go in and give the walls a really good cleaning So I mop my boys bathroom floor. Now if you are a boy mom, you definitely understand where I'm coming from. I usually mop their floor at least two to three times a week around the toilet. <laughs> Um, it's just something that I always do. Their bathroom is pretty small, so it's not really time consuming. It's something that I can do really quick in a few minutes. Now, while I waited for their bathroom floor to dry before I could put their rugs back down, I decided to go ahead and move into my bathroom. And my bathroom is very small also, so I do my best to keep it clean in here. I clean up in here just about every day, but I do leave a lot of my like skincare products and any products that I use when I am getting dressed in the morning, I leave those out. I normally get up really early in the morning while my family is still asleep and get ready. So a lot of times what I will do is just leave all the products that I use out on the counter just so I'm not being very noisy. I always feel like I'm being noisy just taking them out so like putting them away i feel like it's even more unnecessary noise and because i do get up early just for some alone time i try to do my best not to wick anyone up because i want to be able to enjoy my alone time so i just go back later on in the day and i will clean up in there and put everything away once everything once everyone is awake but i did want to do a few extra steps like i don't clean my mirrors every day i do those about maybe once or twice a week and I wanted to give the counters like a really good wipe down and just get everything all cleaned up in here. So when I open the toilet, if it looks like there's no water inside of the toilet, that is because there isn't any water. So our toilet has this mechanism where if it thinks it's about to flood, it will flush and take all of the water out. So when I finished mopping the boys' bathroom, what you guys did not see is I brought the bucket of water over here into my bathroom and I dumped it into my toilet. So because I dumped that mop water in there, it filled the toilet up and it made the toilet like take out all the water. So that is why there is no water in there and it looks really dry. And I'm also changing out my refill my um, wallflower plug-in refill in this bathroom also it's so funny because all of my plugins go empty at the same time but i always like notice them all differently at different times it's so weird um, but in this one i put in the white tea and sage and i like this scent also but once I plugged it in and I started to smell it, it just made me realize how much more I love laundry day because I was like, dang, I wish I had another laundry day to put in this bathroom because it smells so much better than this white tea and sage. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in here and just quickly mop my bathroom floor. I mop my bathroom floor about once or twice a week also, even though I don't have the same problem as I do in my boys' bathroom where it needs it. It's just like I said, the bathrooms are so small and I do my best to try and keep them clean. It's just super easy and convenient to just quickly mop them before moving on to another area. And I'm gonna do the same thing in here. I'm just gonna let the floor dry. And as you can see, I also opened um, my bathroom window when I was cleaning up in there because the weather was so nice outside. And now we are moving to the real disaster. 
this is the mess that I have been avoiding. <laughs> we are moving into the kitchen, which looks absolutely ridiculous. Now, because I am a stay at home mom, I do a lot of cooking. So my dishes pile up really quickly and I know I could like clean as I cook, but I don't always do that. And there are days like this day where the dishes just get completely out of control. This is what happens when I am cooking like three times a day. This will be a day where I've cooked like breakfast for my boys before taking them to school, come back home, made breakfast for myself and my husband. Then I'll make a late lunch for myself and my husband and then make a dinner for the entire family and things just get really out of control. So I needed to get this all cleaned up. Now, I was not able to finish the entire kitchen in one day. You will see it's going to take me about two days to get this area all cleaned up. So before I loaded the dishwasher, I noticed that it had a little bit of a smell and anytime there's a smell or anything, and I often like to just do this anyway, even there, when there's not a smell, I always pull out the filter and give it a really good clean. I like to just like make sure this doesn't have any food or anything stuck in it because sometimes it does and sometimes this can create a really bad odor in your dishwasher and I feel like sometimes that odor kind of sticks to the to the dishes so i wanted to give this a really good clean but i'm also going to put in um in a fresh tablet just to make sure that i get the dishwasher totally clean now normally i would put the fresh tablet in without any dishes but i recently learned on the instructions i guess i never actually fully read the instructions that you also have the option to put the tablet in the um dishwasher with your dishes you just sit it on the bottom of the dishwasher instead of putting it in the area where you would normally put your detergent or your tablet for clean for like running a load of dishes if that makes sense um, normally I would just put it in there and clean the dishwasher but I'm gonna put it at the bottom since I'm running it with the dishes in it but I'm not gonna wake up. So normally whenever the dishwasher is full, whatever dishes I have left over, I would normally just wash those by hand so that I can go ahead and quickly get all of the dishes put away. I would like wash them by hand, dry them and put them away. But I did not have time. I was really rushing at this point because it was time for me to go pick up my boys and I had to do a grocery order. All right, so I have a haul here from Sam's Club. Also a few items from Publix, but mostly everything is from Sam's Club. So I'm gonna go through it just so you guys can see what I picked up um, before I put like the cold items away. So first I got these cookies. I actually ate some in the car. I love these cookies from Sam's Club. I try not to buy them because I try not to snack on them so much, but they're so good and I was really hungry while I was shopping and couldn't resist. So I picked those up. I usually get these from Sam's Club just because they're about the same price as getting them from Walmart, but it's just convenient to get two because we use them for taco night. We've got some chips. I use those for taco night. I also use those for um, the buffalo chicken dip. You guys, this dip is so good. If you like buffalo chicken dip, definitely give this a try. This tastes homemade. I actually like this better. Um, 
than Publix. If you have a Publix near you, you may have tried theirs. But this is my favorite buffalo chicken dip. I grabbed these tumblers. They are Yellowstone tumblers, and my husband and our my husband and I are really big Yellowstone fans. So one of us can have one of these tumblers. Um, paper plates because we always need paper plates. I've got some liquid for the dishwasher. Um, Rouse spaghetti sauce is the Sam's Club is the cheapest place to get this spaghetti sauce. So if your family uses this, definitely get it from Sam's Club. They are the cheapest. Goldfish because we can never have enough goldfish in my house. Like this is the easy go-to snack. And I always buy these aluminum pans at Sam's Club because I do use these a lot for cooking just to save me time on dishes. Anything that I'm baking in the oven, if I can throw it in one of these pans, I will because I just toss it when I'm done. And then from Publix, I got um, muffins. They were buy one, get one free. So I picked those up um, there. And I also got some Prime this is not the energy drink prime this is just like the hydrating drink like it's their version of like gatorade and my older son jackson he really really likes prime so i grabbed a couple of bottles for him and i picked up pajamas so lincoln is going into a 3t so i've been slowly like picking up 3t sized items so I grabbed him some pajamas because he's just been needing some pajamas. And I also got these really warm pajamas because Lincoln does not like to sleep under any type of cover at all. He will toss and turn all night with a cover. And when it got cold last winter, it was really cold. So I was thinking I'll just grab him something now. So when the temperature drops, he has something warm to wear to sleep. Um, I grabbed this for Jackson because he's just a huge Spider-Man fan <laughs> and I thought these were really cute. It's a sweater and a t-shirt and I know he'll really like wearing this sweater um, to school. And then this was so cute. So this is a three-piece set. I opened it up just to make sure Lincoln could fit it. But it's a robe. It's so cute. It's like a, a really soft kind of... Um, kind of fleecy but not fleecy material and it comes with these really warm pajamas now the only thing about this was the sizes were either 2t a size 4 or a size 6 so I got the 2t and it looks pretty big because Lincoln is like I said going into a 3t so I didn't want to buy it which is why I opened it up because I was like I don't want to get a 2t but a four just seems huge and it worked out because the 2t is pretty big so i think he'll definitely be able to fit it for a while so that is my haul i'm gonna go ahead and start putting all of this stuff away so once i put all of the haul away i did go back into my bathroom and my boys bathroom and i just put the rugs back down and made sure like everything was all clean and neat and in order At this point, the dishwasher had also finished with all of the dish with the first load of dishes. So I went ahead, emptied that out, and started the next load of dishes. Now, when I have this many dishes, I always advocate for the dishwasher. I will use it if it's available. I think the dishwasher is really convenient and it saves a lot of time. So because I still have more mess to clean up and I'm not finished in the kitchen and there's just other areas of the house that still need some attention, I'm going to put these away and load it up again. Cause I'm a little bit steady, even a little bit mad Might be a disaster 
So once I put that load in, I did have a few items left in the sink that needed to be cleaned and I was ready for the sink to just be empty and have all of the dishes out of sight. So I did go ahead and just quickly wash those by hand. So after that, I had to put a pin in it for the day and just take a pause and have some family time. And this is now the next morning where I'm finally like getting back to it. So I wanted to start off by just emptying out the dishwasher, getting everything put away. Whenever the kitchen gets really messy like that, I like to give the counters and the cabinets just a really good wipe down. So I will fill the sink with really hot water and pine saw, and I'm just gonna wipe down all of the spaces in the kitchen. Sometimes with certain multi-surface sprays, I don't feel like the counters are super clean. So this is why I like to just like take an extra step. I do this sometimes once a week, maybe sometimes every other week, just depending on how I feel like we need it. And I definitely felt like it was needed after the mess that was going on in here. And I had a lot of stuck on mess on the stove top, so I pulled out my pink stuff just to get that all cleaned up and nice and shiny again. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is drunk Cannot keep it low-key 
Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof I don't your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you I need you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post and now I am all done in the kitchen. The counters are clean again. It smells so good in here. Sometimes with the dishes in the sink, it can kind of have a bit of an odor that I may not always notice, but as soon as I get it all clean and dishes put away, I realize like, oh wow, there was a smell from those dirty dishes because it smells so much cleaner in there. And now I get to go back to our dining room area that is connected to our family room that I did not get to clean the day before and just get this space all cleaned up. Now this table is definitely a catch-all for us and it can get really out of control really fast. So I wanted to just go ahead and get everything put away. I've been doing my best to try and keep this table area clean every day. And I did put away the rugs that I washed from my boys' bathroom the day before. Now, I have two sets of rugs for their bathroom. Um, that is because their, their rugs get really wet, especially with my two-year-old. He splashes around a lot in the bathtub. So I have two sets of rugs for them. That way I can take up a set, like let it dry or put it in the wash if I need to and I have another set to put down in their bathroom. So that is why you saw me earlier put their bathroom rugs back in but also saw those drying. That is because the ones that I washed the day before those were still drying while I put down the other set. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mop this area. Now I don't know if I said this earlier but my two year old goes to daycare part time. Um, he just goes for a few hours a day. He used to always be at home with me but a few months ago we decided to put him in daycare part time just so he can have something to do and somewhere to go for a few hours during the day have some kind of social activities with other kids his age so I try to do my mopping and things like that when he is not home so I just it was almost time for me to go pick him up and I knew I still have more cleaning to do so I just wanted to quickly mop this area and get it really clean before it was time for him to come home now normally if i had time to mop the way i wanted to mop i usually for this area would boil water just so that i have extremely hot water for cleaning this space because we do spend so much time here and it is a really high traffic area i also would normally move the table and chairs well especially just move the chairs out of the way so that i can mop under that table really good but I knew I didn't have time for that because it was getting close to time for me to pick him up and I still wanted to clean up in my bedroom before I went to go get him. So in my bedroom, I'm first gonna go ahead and start by just taking my sheets off the bed. I like to wash my sheets at least once a week or more if needed, like if we have any accidents or anything. My two-year-old still bed shares with us, so send me prayers. <laughs> We've been working on that. If you're not new to my channel, you definitely know the struggle. But I want to just go ahead and get my sheets changed out and I'm gonna put on a different set of sheets, but I am gonna toss these in the wash.
So for our nightstands and our headboard, I like to just wipe those down with um, disinfecting wipes. Because I do have white furniture, I do like to wipe it down a lot just to try and preserve it and keep it looking really clean. And I think in this scene, you may see my two year old head pop up. Usually he is not far behind me whenever I am doing some cleaning if he is home on this particular day um, I was letting him watch Mickey Mouse I'm not like a crazy screen time mom not to say that anyone is crazy for monitoring screen time I mean, I don't like stay really on top of how much screen time he has um, He spends a lot of time like playing and stuff like that and when I need to get things done around the house I will let him watch some TV especially like any shows that I know he really likes and right now he has really been loving Mickey Mouse Clubhouse so I turned that on for him just so that I could finish cleaning up in this area because normally if you see my previous videos whenever I am making my bed he is usually jumping on the bed while I'm trying to put the sheets on Now my load of sheets that I tossed in the wash um, when I first started cleaning my bedroom, those are all clean and dry. So I'm gonna fold and put the sheets away. Um, I store all of my extra sheets and the bench at the bottom of my bed, it is for storage, which is one of the reasons that I got it. I just love having storage there. I love it for decor, but I just love the fact that there's storage there because I always like to have an extra set of sheets. I like to have like two to three extra sets of sheets. If you are a parent, you know the struggle. It's always great to just have another set of sheets in case there's an accident or anything in the middle of the night to easily change them out. So that was one of the reasons that I got this bench so that I could store more sheets in here so I'm gonna fold and put those away but I'm gonna put the pillowcases back on the pillows because I only have one set of the decorative decorative pillowcases that match the comforter so I'm just gonna put those back on the pillows and make the bed up Now once I finished making up my bed, I was all done, my room was all clean, the entire house was clean, and it felt so good to just have everything back in order where it belongs, everything looking and smelling really good. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have not done so already, definitely please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all next time. Bye!